and Jim from themodelshipwright.com and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Norwegian Sailing Pram, the second model in Model Shipway's Shipwright Learning Series. If you haven't seen the unboxing video for the first kit in the series, the Lowell Grand Banks Dory, I'll put a link down in the description and also at the end of this video. The Shipwright Learning Series is a progressive series of model tutorials designed to teach the skills needed to build museum quality models. For the novice model builder, this is a much better path than starting out with a really complex and expensive model ship kit, where hundreds of hours may be needed before you can begin to see the fruits of your labor. If you've ever spent time looking at used model ship kits on the online auction sites, you'll see the results of unexperienced modelers diving into an expensive and very complex kit only to realize that they're in over their heads or realized early on that they've made a mistake that will affect the quality of the finished model or just became frustrated and gave up. The Shipwright Learning Series, however, breaks the learning curve up into more digestible chunks with each kit designed to build on the skills learned in the previous one. This allows the model builder to develop their skill level while also being able to see the results of their labor, a historically accurate, highly detailed model. The Norwegian Sailing Pram is in 1 to 12th scale, that is, 1 inch on the model equals 12 inches on their actual boat. The kit produces a 12 inch model that's perfectly sized for a bookshelf or desk display. The ancestors of the Norwegian Sailing Pram were Viking longships. You can see that in the fact that they're double-ended and they're also lap straight built, that is the planks overlap each other rather than meeting edge to edge. Unlike the long ships, however, the Norwegian sailing pram has transoms both fore and aft. The prams were developed along the Scandinavian coastline about a thousand years ago for use in protected waters like the numerous fjords. Built of oak, the pram could be both rowed and sailed. The pram features a dagger board, which is a removable fin that reduces leeway, or moving sideways, what we called crabbing when I was a kid, when the wind is blowing at the beam of the boat. Prams were built as small as 8 feet up to about 18 feet. Since this model is 1 12th scale and produces a 12 inch long model, that means it's a model of about a 12 foot long pram. Like the other kits in the series, the Norwegian Sailing Pram offers true plank on frame construction. The added complexity of this kit is easily apparent from the 44 page instruction manual for the Norwegian Sailing Pram. The Lowell Grand Banks Dory instruction manual is only 15 pages. The parts list also demonstrates how much more complex the model is. The Lowell Grand Bank Story has three sizes of basswood strips and eight sheets of laser cut parts containing a total of 67 different parts. The Norwegian Sailing Pram has five different sizes of basswood strips as well as dowel for the masts and nine laser cut sheets of parts with 100 different pieces. In addition, the Norwegian Sailing Pram includes Britannia metal detail castings, photo etched brass parts, as well as copper wire, three sizes of brass rod and brass tubing, as well as some brass nails. It also includes sail cloth, and three different diameters of rigging thread. If you haven't seen the Lowell Grand Banks story opening video, there should be a link up here that, somewhere that you can click on to see that. We'll also be doing an unboxing video for the Muscogas Bay Lobster Smack, which is the final kit in Model Shipway's Shipwright Learning Series. So hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you'll be notified when that video posts. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And also, as always, thanks for watching.